TV. The Sunday special with Archie Bunker's Place starts now on Antenna TV. <laughs> two starter doses. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine, or plan to. Nothing on my skin means everything. Ask your dermatologist about Sky Rizzi. Learn how Abby could help you save. I am embarrassed to say this, but I've been using deodorant on my armpits for the past 40 years. And yet anytime I noticed odor anywhere else, I thought I needed a second shower, I wasn't clean, or there was something wrong with me. And then my gynecologist told me about Lumi. It's a whole body deodorant for pits, feet, and privates that controls odor anywhere and everywhere on your body. I tried it and I noticed a difference right away. Everywhere. You won't realize the body odor you've just been living with until you try Lumi and it's gone. Go to LumiDeo.com to build your customized bundle today. Jewelry you'll love. Find us in store and online. Salon Pass Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. It's a me too. Super Beta Prostate is the number one selling brand for men's prostate and urinary health. You'll notice less urges to urinate, and you won't be getting up at night for so many bathroom trips. Super Beta Prostate. Find it at Walmart. Your logo can identify your company, inspire your customers, and energize your team. We're 4imprint, and we can help your logo create moments that matter. Explore thousands of promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. What's up, guys? What I'm about to show you is going to change the way you shave your head forever. You can shave your head in 90 seconds or less with no cuts or nicks. Introducing Remington's new and improved Balder Boss. With increased flex and five dual-track floating head design, get over 60% more head coverage for a faster, closer shave and skin-close results. And only through this exclusive TV offer, now you can try it in your home for 30 days for just $14.99. Balder Boss is the fast, easy, safe way to shave your head, wet or dry, in 90 seconds or less, without nicks or cuts. No nicks, no scrapes, fit in the palm of my hand, and the results were amazing. The 360-degree pivoting neck contours closely around your head curves for maximum contact, anytime, anywhere, in 90 seconds or less, with exclusive wet tech technology shave in the shower or with any foam or gel japanese grade steel blades and turbo power plow through the thickest of hair yet gentle enough it won't irritate skin with pure lithium power that lasts up to an incredible 60 minutes that's like one full month of use without a recharge then easily rinses clean there's even a pop-up trimmer to complete your perfect groom now you can try the remington balder boss in your home for 30 days for just 14.99 but wait order now and we'll ship it to you absolutely free. You can also get our ear, nose, and brow trimmer for the ultimate groom, free. Just pay separate processing and handling. Every Balder Boss comes with a five-year limited warranty where durability is guaranteed, plus a 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you don't absolutely love it, send it back, but keep the trimmer as our gift just for trying. I got a clean, nice, smooth shave in under 90 seconds. No nicks. No cuts. So order now. Operator, why did you cut me off? My party had me on hold. 
Oh. I'm telling you, Archie don't know what he's letting himself in for. Does he ever? He's going to go <laughs> broke, but he ain't taking me with him. What would you do if he goes through with it, Harry? Who knows? Maybe retire. Harry, you got a dime? The operator wants another dime. I ran out. Right with you, Mr. Klein. Here's a man who wants to take this whole thing off my hands. Like I said to my lawyer, Levy the hold. When your partner wants to go off the deep end, there's no living with him. And if you go along with him, there's no living with yourself. Harry, Harry, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you talk only to Levy, Mr. Klein. He knows all the ins and outs. Well, I had him on the phone, but he put me on hold. That's why they call him Levy the Hold. <laughs> hey, 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 great news, great news. I just come from talking to Swenson, the contractor. The Norwegian? Yeah, boozer, I know, but, uh... <laughs> what the hell, the more he drinks, the lower his estimates. <laughs> now, look at old Pepper face here. <laughs> hey, he's gonna give his bargain rates on all the work we're gonna have done here, you know? I told him how we're gonna break through that wall into the rest of it next door. No, Mr. Van Rensselaer, that wall over there. <laughs> and how we're gonna cut a family entrance down there, you know, so the innocent women and children don't have to be exposed to the flansom and johnson at the bar. Huh? I keep telling you, if you go through with this, I'm out. Uh, what are you talking I'm about? Sorry, Harry, it's gonna be this. terrific. A lot of noise going I gotta on. go get our papers what? and permits. What? Uh, oh, there you are. Listen, Levy, I'll tell you what. You get the things together, and I'll be right over. Okay with you? Good, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello? Yes, operator, I completed my call. Yes, I got my dime back. Thank you very much. What? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I can't return it. Tell you what, if you give me your name and your address, I'll be happy to mail it to you. You too. I'd like to shake your hand, sir. Anybody that can give the shaft to the phone company is my kind of guy. <laughs> Klein, Murray Klein. Yeah, I've seen you around, but we've never met. Murray's an old neighborhood boy. Yeah. I knew your father and your grandfather. Right. <laughs> Barney Hefner's the name. Oh, you any relation to uh, Hugh Hefner? No, but we uh, share some of the same interests. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, Mr. Clyde? Well, I've been in nearly everything. I've been in car rentals, and I've been in insurance, I've been in restaurant supply, and now I'm going to be in the John. <laughs> hey, not bad. He left me a buck tip. <laughs> Listen. Big deal. How come you never leave me nothing? Mr. Van Rensselaer, how much is a buck worth today? About a dime. Oh, okay. Here's your buck tip. It's on the tab. Would you hurry? I'm running a little late. Ooh, ooh. I'm sorry, Arch. You run into a person. Don't you know that you could raise a groat there? Huh? I told you I was sorry, didn't I? Where did I hurt you, there? Don't, don't touch it. Oh, you could raise all over pantusions or something. <laughs> Here's where you touch me. <laughs> Will you get out of the way? I'm in a hurry. Oh, he's in a hurry. Hey, three drinks for everybody. Oh, well, I got a little time. <laughs> Don't worry. Big deal. Free drinks for everybody. We only got two customers. That's the best time to holler free drinks for everybody. Arch, last time you bought me a drink was when Nixon got elected. What? I always like to buy free drinks on happy occasions like that. My God, is he running again? <laughs> ah, never no more. Well, hey, we all timed on the poor man. <laughs> you're out of paper towels. Hey, watch what you're doing, buddy. How huh? you're dripping all over the joint. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, when you can plainly see there ain't no more paper towels, don't wash. <laughs> There isn't any toilet paper, either. Well... I'm going over to see Levy. Thanks for putting me on to this. Hey, don't run off, Mr. Klein. Archie's offering a free drink. Hey, 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 Harry, don't be, don't be yelling out to the world there, will you? Free drinks is for regulars. You've seen me around here before, Archie. Yeah, I know that, but, uh... I mean, you gotta admit that use people, uh... 
You ain't famous for big spending over a bar. <laughs> well, where the hell are you all going there? Eh? What's the matter? Did I say something? <laughs> Oh, God, you can't open your mouth nowadays. Uh, uh, listen, buddy, uh, uh, no intense offender there. Now, wait a minute. My intense is very offended. Now, just what were you saying? That Jews are cheap? Hmm? Well, let me put it this way. Careful, Arch. <laughs> I can remember when Murray was in the Golden Gloves. No kidding. No kidding. Did you win? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, uh, what I mean is, uh, hey, Scotchman's is much worse. That's for the drink. That's for you. What was that? Nothing, nothing. I'm looking at the wall here. <laughs> I think you can take a march. All you need is a little road work. Ah, <laughs> Always the right ways at the right time. Ah, come on, Amon. Shut up and drink up there, huh? What are we drinking to, Arch? We are drinking to that we just took an option on a restaurant premise service next door. <laughs> we. we. If we includes you and me, include me out. I don't want to own a restaurant. You ain't going to own a restaurant. You're going to own half a restaurant. <laughs> I said no, over and over, but you don't hear me. What do we know about running a restaurant? What the hell is there to know? You hire a cook for in there, a waiter for out here, a Puerto Rican for all over, and the money starts rolling in? Yeah, 80% of restaurants die. How come nothing's ever made it next door? The Kosherama Chinese Deli didn't make it. Closed falafel folded. Susie Sashimi Shack didn't last a month. That is because none of them people saved nothing unusual. What food's unusual nowadays? American. <laughs> Come on, what are you doing in here? Every time she comes in here, you say that. Why do you always yell at her? I'm raising her. I'm supposed to show an interest. Hello, Harry. Hello, Stephanie. And do you have someone to ask if I can have a pair of roller skates? Sure you can. What are you asking him for? I'd like to hear a yes from someone before I hear a no from you. Don't be so smart. Maybe you wasn't going to hear no no from me. Was I going to hear yes, yes? Well, how are you going to know unless you ask me? Well, Jess is having a skate sale. When? It started yesterday. Oh, well, all right. That was yesterday, so you missed it. <laughs> hey, I, I put that thing. Now, don't be a disgrace. Now, get out of here. If you ain't out of here by the time I count the tree... What? <laughs> I'll hit you with a left hook and a right cross. One. Two. Three. Four. I passed three. If I had skates, I would have been out by three. Bye, Harry. Bye, Barney. Bye, Mr. Van Rensselaer. Goodbye, little sweetheart. <laughs> See what kids pick up in school today? They're brightening up everybody's day, Arch. Yeah, especially mine. Ah, come on, come on, Harry. The rest of mine is going to be beautiful. I don't want to hear about it. Well, you're going to hear about it. This ain't for you, Barney. Now, come over here. Come over here. Now, let me tell you something here in private. Now, listen. Listen to me. <laughs> I already signed the papers. You already signed the papers? Yes. Okay, Arch. If that's the way it's gonna be, I'm getting out. I'm selling my half. Wait, wait a minute. Why are you selling your half? What, what are you... To who? Well, not to you. You ain't got 25,000 bucks. How the hell do you know that I ain't got $25,000? You ain't supposed to hear this. Is that why you're whispering? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I have to be a very good standing with a certain fine lady down at the bank. And what are you talking about, 25,000 bucks? You only put in 20. Well, I want five more. Well, 25 grand? That's out of question. I'll tell you what, we'll split the difference. 24. <laughs> Since when is 24? The difference between 20 and 25. Since I raised my price to 28. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, 
Well, that's different. <laughs> Arch, you drive a hard bargain. <laughs> this guy thinks I'm some kind of a dope. Yeah. We all know we need to floss, but it's messy, painful, and takes forever. Until now. Introducing Miracle Smile, the revolutionary new water flosser that gently cleans and flosses your entire mouth in only 10 seconds for a dentist clean feeling and brighter, healthier smile. Well, now I look forward to flossing. The secret is this specially designed H-shaped flossing head with four targeted water jets that clean the top, bottom, front, and back of your teeth and below your gum line, all at the same time in just 10 seconds. It is the easiest flossing method I have ever found. My gums never bleed. It freshens my breath and helps remove all of those coffee and wine stains and makes my teeth look bright and white again. Miracle Smile is more effective than string flossing, removing over 99% of plaque. I have a permanent retainer and with string flossing, I can't get all the way down to my gum line to clean my teeth. But with Miracle Smile, I'm able to clean all around my gums and all around the hard to reach places. Perfect for braces, dental work, or tightly spaced teeth. Brushing alone is not enough. Flossing is the only way to remove harmful bacteria. With Miracle Smile, the water can get into those crevices that are harder to reach. A compact, portable design. Cordless, lightweight, and easy to fill and use. With three adjustable pressure settings, Miracle Smile is safe and soothing for sensitive teeth and gums. I have sensitive gums, so it's hard for me to floss, and it's painful. But with Miracle Smile, it's so gentle, and it just feels good. And it's water resistant, so you can use in the shower. It's fast, it's easy, and look at my smile. Get yours at BuyMiracleSmile.com for only $39.99 or call 1-800-417-6902. It's only 10 seconds. I mean, there's just no excuse not to floss. Miracle Smile, the 10-second flosser. And because of the recent reappraisals of the said properties, we can consider increasing the loans in question, but only at 75% of the amount supplied for and at a 1.5% additional interest. Margaret Watson, Vice President, Loan Department. Copies to Mr. Deneen and Mr. Falk. Wow. <laughs> Sit down, Mr. Burger. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Uh, you know, there's nothing I enjoy more than uh, listening to an intelligent woman talk. <laughs> I mean, if I didn't know you, the, I mean, what do you call it? I would think that you was Barbara Walters. If you were sitting behind a curtain or something. <laughs> so, uh, so, you're uh, still... Uh, yes, I'm still the loan officer. I hope you approve. Oh, hey, I love it. I love it. Hey, it's high time newspapers started getting inside work. <laughs> Enough pleasantries, Mr. Bunker. What can I do for you? Oh, well, uh, first, uh, uh, let me spread out my documentaries in front of you here, eh? Now, uh, I'm going to uh, expand into the rest of my business. I'm going to bust into the store, next door, by which I mean the adjacent store. Eh? I'm going to make a fortune. Uh, do you mind if I smoke? No. <laughs> you wouldn't have a cigar, would you? <laughs> Sorry. And nothing by the other one? No, that's what I do for you. Well, uh, I need a loan. See, but uh, my partner's a problem. He, he's scared to go along with me. So you want to borrow the buying out money? Yeah. Hey, like old J.P. Rockefeller once said, <laughs> when opportunity knocks, son, you better not be in the cam. <laughs> I never heard that. Well, only the Arabs ever listened to that old man. <laughs> anyway, I only need about 24000 Let's see. In October of 1977, you borrowed $20,000 using your residence for collateral. And now you owe us $19,724.50. Yeah, I, I see that. You know, good. After paying off so much money over the last two years and still to owe that much, they, I, I can't quite grasp that. Well, most of it has gone towards the interest. That's robbery. That's business. You knocked on our door, Mr. Bunker, and we were not in the can. <laughs> hey. 
Yeah, well, I do, do we have to talk about that loan? Because, I mean, what I want is a new loan. Fine. Have you any collateral? My liquor license. According to the Alcoholic Beverage Control Law, Section 114, Article 3, no license shall be pledged or deposited as collateral security for any loan. Mr. Bunker, I'm afraid a new loan is not possible. Jeez. Why the hell is it in this country, when you gotta borrow your money, you first gotta prove you don't need none? Well, you got the Democrats to thank for that, too. Well, what the hell am I gonna do? Why don't you go to your partner and ask him to sell you his share on, say, a five-year note? Pay him a little more than bank interest. Maybe he'll accommodate you. Try and be nice about it. Oh, uh, hey, if you knew me, you know, I always try to be nice about everything. <laughs> but it's this part of mine, you know, he can't do business with him because he's like a child. Oh, oh, it's my friend. It's all right. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh. Uh, I, I didn't touch nothing today. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much there, Ms. Zonso. You're a very nice lady and a very smart lady. And uh, whilst I was with you, I sincerely hope I didn't say nothing to offend Benny. Now, why would that worry you? Oh, it don't. That's just something my old man told me to say whenever taking leave of mine of our people. <laughs> he didn't want you to be rude. No, never. And he, he didn't want me to get hit in the back of the head with a brick, neither. Hi there, Mr. Van Manskewen. <laughs> hey, Harry. Harry, you know. I started out for the bank, but then, you know, I had to stop. I had to think it all over. And I, I said to myself, this ain't fair to Harry, you know. Busting up your career like this. Well, it ain't fair to myself. Because the last two years of our partnership, they've been the happiest two years of my life. So I said to myself, why throw two years of friendship right down the toilet? They wouldn't give you the money, huh? What are you doing now? I'm calling Levy. Your lawyer? Yeah, I sent him a buyer. I want to tell him he can close the deal. Oh, no. You ain't going to tell him nothing. I can tell him anything I want to. It's my half, and I'm dumping it. Hello, Levy. Yeah, I'll hold. You can't sell without my legal reproof. Says who? Says me. Look at our contract. It says either one of us can sell out. Oh, you rat, you wrote that into the fine print, huh? No, you wrote it in yourself, in great big print. When I first seen it, I thought my granddaughter put it in. <laughs> Hello, Levy. Harry from the bar. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Are you sure, Harry? Okay, if you say so. All right, goodbye. Deal? Yes, it's settled. Harry definitely wants to sell to you. <laughs> That's terrific. Oh, boy. But my <laughs> advice, Mr. Klein, is for you to buy out Bunker, too. Look, you don't understand, Levy. In the first place, I can't handle this alone. And in the second place, this business is good because of him. Listen, Klein, I admit that Archie's place is making money. Right. And when it includes a little restaurant, it'll make more. And I also think that Harry is a jerk to sell. That's why I am smart to buy. Now, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my bank book. We are going to the First National and pick up a certified check. Hmm? But, Klein, what do you know about Bunker? What's to know? The man needs a partner that's good enough for me. But you, he doesn't need. Klein, listen. Bunker is an anti-Semit. So is the manager of my supermarket. So is my mechanic. I still have to eat and I still have to drive. Yeah, but a partnership, it's like a marriage. Would you marry someone who looked down on you? I did. <laughs> you married an anti-Semit? No, she was Jewish, but she looked down on me anyway. <laughs> I get it, Klein. You're one of those kinky types who, who insists on looking for pain. No, Levy, I'm one of those kinky types who refuses to look for pain. <laughs> oh, God. I 
was Harry, Mr. Van Rensselaer. Oh. <laughs> what do you think of this guy, huh? huh? Ain't he a lolo? Huh? He had the years of friendliness and fondliness and camaraderie if he turns on me there, sells me out. Hmm. He's a trader there. He's the wor Hey, who was the worst traders in history? Brutus, Judas, Iago, Quigley. Yeah, 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 them, them, them. I remember them. <laughs> hey, you. Remember Brutus, Judas, Iago, and Quisling? Your lawyers? <laughs> Man. So who the hell are they? They were traitors, but you're worse than them. And they was the Chicago infield who threw the Stay tuned to get 50% off your vacuum trim. Hey guys, does trimming your beard create a hurricane of hair with a mess going everywhere? Who's going to clean that up? Not you. And now, you don't have to. Introducing Vacu Trim by Bell & Howell, the revolutionary dial-in precision beard and body trimmer with vacuum capture technology. Look, as you trim, powerful suction captures and pulls all the hair in to Vacu Trim. Vacu Trim is constructed with a surgically sharp stainless steel blade and built-in vacuum capture technology. So powerful, it literally cleans up every single hair, so there's no mess anywhere. Clean lines, no cleanup. Tired of swapping and dropping attachments, trying to find the right length? VacuTrim has 20 custom dial-in settings. Simply choose your perfect length and get a clean, precise trim every time. I just turn the dial, trim, and there's nothing to clean up. VacuTrim gives you the control of a professional barber to shape full beards edge and contour goatees and manscape mess free look it's impossible to clean every tiny hair but with vacuum trim all the shavings get sucked straight into the built-in vacuum capture chamber no cleanup needed plus it's lightweight cordless and rechargeable here's what some of our most satisfied customers are saying about vacuum trim get the complete vacuum trim no mess beard and body kit for just 39.95 
It comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee. But that's not all. When you order today, we'll give you 50% off a second one. And we'll even ship your order free. Order now. Call 1-800-243-5929 or go to vacutrim.com. So call 1-800-243-5929. That's 1-800-243-5929 or go online to vacutrim.com. Hey, 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 great news, great news. Another episode of Archie Bunker's Place is next on Antenna TV. Keep your sunny side up, up high the sun that gets blue. Hey, Barney. Hey, hey, Arch. Hey, I'm glad I caught you, kid. Listen, this is your lucky day. I'm going to make you rich. Hey, could you make me rich tonight? I'm a little late for work. No, no, wait a minute. Cut that out a minute. <laughs> I want to talk to you. When you hear the off, I'm going to make you. You want to kiss your job goodbye. What the hell are you doing? Drinking beer for breakfast? Mm. <laughs> Coffee keeps me awake on the job. <laughs> What's on your mind? I want you to take Harry's place at the bar. I want you to be my partner. Why me? Because I need a partner. I don't want some creep I don't know. I want you. Uh, I'm very flattered, Arch. I think you better call somebody else. I already called everybody else. <laughs> Come in with me, Barney. A half interest will only cost you 24000 Hey, that sounds like a pretty good deal. Huh? But I don't think I have quite that much in my savings and checking account. Well, how much you got, kid? $112. <laughs> what the hell did you do with all your money? I've told you a hundred times. Blanche blew it. You know that. <laughs> All ain't lost, Barney. Why don't you just mortgage this dump? What? The home, beautiful home. No, it's a dump. <laughs> Blanche loves it. If Blanche loves it so much, why the hell does she always run away from it? Because she loves the TV repair man more. Look out. <laughs> Put that out of your mind, huh, Barney? All we could do now is wish them both well. I do. I do. I just wish he'd straightened out the TV picture before they left. Oh, well, I didn't even do that for you. No. And now, every time I see a horizontal roll, I think of Blanche. <laughs> oh, please, I ain't got no time here. Give me an answer. No, and that's final. What kind of a pal are you? And I thought you and me was tight. I thought we was close, like Abercrombie and Fritz, son. <laughs> Come on, Art. Don't be sure. Oh, hey, how about some bacon and beer, huh? Oh. <sighs> yeah, give me some. <laughs> Goodbye, Tante Gussie. And goodbye, my mama. <laughs> Where are you running? I got an appointment, Mom. Come Did on. I hear you uh, packing a bag inside, no, no, huh? No, no, not, I'm not leaving. You're not leaving? No. Good. Come sit down. All right. Just a minute. <laughs> no, I'm not leaving today. The painters are leaving my house Tuesday. Did I hear you looking for something inside? Yes, and I found it. Stamps? No, Mama. Check? No, Mama. Cash? No. Your bank book, huh? <laughs> Mama, I am about to make a big move. Don't get married. No, no. <laughs> I am going back into business. Thanks, God. Mm. What kind of business? Well, Mama, you remember when I was a little kid, don't you? Mm? Remember when I... I gave up that paper route and I went out onto the beach and I was selling fudgicles and popsicles and Dixie cups, you know. You remember that? I used to like to be around people, you know. Made them happy, made me happy. I just love selling that ice cream. You're gonna sell ice cream again. No, Mama. Booze. 
Who? I get handling my schnapps. I heard that. Dr. Gussie, now, don't you think that's a good idea? Booze! Easy. Just a neighborhood bar and grill. We're going to have a nice little restaurant. Booze. Booze is for bums. What are you talking about? There was always booze in this house. Don't you talk about your father like that. <laughs> father, God bless him, he had an enlarged heart. My father, God bless him, had a five-foot liver. <laughs> business and the best part is that I can walk to work from my house you hear I can walk I taught him to walk he's telling me he can walk I heard that as look mirrors that can walk I heard that you can also walk to the river do you have to jump in mama a man is waiting for me bye-bye Marto Marto <laughs> Is that the way for a son to leave a mother? Tante Gossie's a stranger? <laughs> right, girls, I don't want to be late for this appointment. Don't wait up me, Ma, please. Otherwise, the joint looks in pretty good shape. Baby, come here. Over there is where Bunker wants a breakthrough for the new restaurant. Uh -huh. Hiya, gents. Oh, Harry, I still don't understand why you're giving up such a good thing. Cause I don't know food, I know booze. So what's the big difference? Did you ever try watering a turkey sandwich? <laughs> yeah, baby. No point delaying this. If Harry's ready to sign, I am ready to pay. I'm ready to sign. Good. Just show me where. I had to be perfectly honest with this man, Harry. I told him Bunker's a very hard man to get along with. Listen, I get along with everybody. You wouldn't believe my last partner. He thought that Nixon should still be president. <laughs> yeah, for a guy like that, Archie Bunker's got to be a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Not fresh, uh, at least familiar. Sorry? And Harry, here's a check. Twenty-four thousand bucks, huh? <laughs> Drinks for everybody. Uh, yeah. Well, Clyde, what can I say yeah, but muscle tough. Come on, have a drink with us. No, not just now, thanks. I left a client on hold. Oh, <laughs> goodbye, Clyde. So long, Harry. Goodbye. Hey, goodbye, Mr. So Levy. Maybe. Thanks. And here's a nice little martini for you, Mr. Clyde. Thank you. Uh, here's well, good luck. Cheers to our future, huh? <laughs> here's looking at you. <laughs> Harry, you know that you are the finest bartender in Queens. I try. You know, I think that you ought to stay on and work for us. Sorry, Mr. Klein. There's nothing in this world could keep me from retiring. Nothing. How much salary did you take for yourself? Tips aside, I took 200 a week. You got three. I just came back out of retirement. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm here to take. And after the events of today, I can only call myself a dope, a real dope. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Instead of cultivating the finer people of this world, I spend my whole life surrounding myself with deadbeats. Oh, I don't mean you, Mr. Van <laughs> Uh, listen, uh, is there any money in your family? It was. Thank you. <laughs> Look at you. Dirty ashtrays on a bar, puddles all over here, and you stand there chewing the fat with Rocky Three here. <laughs> I wasn't chewing the fat. I was conducting some business. Uh, this here gentleman is your new partner. <laughs> My wife? He just bought my half of the business. <laughs> Klein. Mary Klein. Well, 
voice here is voicer than Pearl Harbor. <laughs> this army is a day that will live in infancy. <laughs> This is a paid advertisement for legal services. Were you or a loved one diagnosed with lung cancer? Lung cancer and other cancers listed on screen and the disease asbestosis may be linked to asbestos exposure. Exposure to asbestos in mills, factories, power plants, or while working as a plumber, electrician, plasterer, or maintenance worker may have put you at risk. Because asbestos was widely used on ships, those working in shipyards, including Navy veterans, may have also been exposed. Asbestos has been used in many commercial applications, including insulation, fireproof fabrics, automotive parts, and more. If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with lung cancer or another asbestos-related cancer, call Sokolov Law for a free legal consultation. You may be entitled to compensation. Call 1-800-217-1300. 1-800-217-1300. Again, that's 1-800-217-1300. I'm an non-attorney spokesperson. Nothing stops a DR field and brush mower. Thick grass and weeds, out of control brush, even three inch thick trees are no match for America's favorite brush mower. Lock it in and rip it up. Get a DR field and brush mower and get the job done right. Shop the sale today. All DR field and brush mower models are now on sale and free shipping is in effect. Hurry, this offer won't last. That's drfieldbrush.com. I got this $1,000 camera for only $41 on DealDash. DealDash.com. Online auctions since 2009. This PlayStation 5 sold for only 50 cents. This iPad Pro sold for less than $34. And this Nintendo Switch sold for less than $20. Deals like these and many more happen in the thousands of daily auctions on DealDash.com. All auctions start at $0. And remember, everything must go. I got this KitchenAid stand mixer for only $56. I got this barbecue smoker for $26. Bucks. And you know what? They'll give you a 90-day money-back guarantee on your first purchase. This brand-new iPhone sold for less than $42. And this DJI drone sold for less than $21. I even got this Jeep on DealDash. And shipping is always free. Go to DealDash.com right now and see how much you can save. There are auctions going on right now. So what are you waiting for? Introducing Mando Whole Body Deodorant for pits, privates, and beyond. I'm Dr. Shannon Klingman, the inventor of Whole Body Deodorant. Like Mando, it's clinically proven to block odor all day, controls odor for 72 hours. And before you say it, Mando controls odor better than a shower with soap alone. Mando's based on the novel idea of preventing odor, keeping it from happening in the first place. Men who use Mando smell as good as humanly possible everywhere. Go to shopmando.com to learn more. I said the name is Klein. Oh, I'll get to you in a minute. <laughs> Selling out to this guy behind me, behind my back. <laughs> what a lousy trick to pull on me. If you think I pulled a lousy trick on you, think of what I've done to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> drink your drink there. And come voice amongst yourself. <laughs> All right, now we better just sit down and straighten this whole thing out, Cone. Fine. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> partners. <laughs> partners. Well, what the hell do you know about running a saloon? It's a business. I can handle it. But you don't know nothing about it. You don't know the kind of work we do here. Why, the hours alone there could wreck a marriage. I'm not married. Why are you not married? Not anymore. And never again. What are you, uh, you living with uh, somebody? <laughs> right now with my mother and my aunt. Whoop-de-doo. <laughs> you got a girlfriend? No. 
<laughs> now, uh, not that it matters to me, you know. I, I'm one of them live and let live guys. <laughs> but would you, by any chance, be a, a fan? <laughs> Would you believe a simple no? <laughs> that wasn't no simple no. Well, there's only one way to find out. Ah. Kiss me. <laughs> I like it, you have your answer. If you like it, I know why you ask. What the hell are you still doing here? Shouldn't you be checking in on some unemployment line? I'm staying on as bartender. Who says so? Your new partner. You took him on without consulting with me? Harry's got a big following. <laughs> Do you feel crowded in here? <laughs> oh, gee, I have seen this place at nights. I've seen it on weekends. Harry is good. And if the restaurant is good, we'll be crowded all the time. I gotta get some bottles, Arch. Would you hop behind a bar? <laughs> Why don't you hop behind a nervous horse? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be telling me what to do. I'm a boss. You're a worker. What do you want from in there? Two rye, two vodka. Well, then I'll get it for you. And you get back where you belong. Now, I ain't got no time to, uh, what do you call, a bandage voyage with you. Because <laughs> I got my work to do. Well, what do you want in I here? I want to see the stock. You stay the hell away from the stock. Now, listen, partner, half of it's mine. You ain't my partner. I'm afraid I am. <laughs> now, I've got some paper right here to prove it. Paper don't make a partnership. A partner's in here. Well, why don't you start using what's in there? <laughs> listen to me, Bunker. I'm the only one who believes in you. I am the only one who wants to do what you want to do. I am the only one who is willing to bet his bankroll on you. Now, you need me. You need me, Bunker. Without me, you're nothing. You'll never have a restaurant, you'll never be able to get one. And if you don't see that, brother, you are one prize-winning meathead. <laughs> Where did you ever hear that voice? My old man used to call me when I didn't make any sense. <laughs> Sit down, will you? Huh? Just a minute here. Now what? Well, okay. Uh, maybe to you. I seem like a um, um, meter. <laughs> but I think that makes sense. Now, I don't want you for a part. But what's more important, you ain't never gonna want me for a partner. What are you talking about? I, I'm, I'm only trying to tell you, 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 you heard what Harry said out there. I, uh, I, I seem to bother people, you know? I haven't noticed. <laughs> well, neither have I, but that's what people tell me, so they must be real <laughs> But how? Well, it's other people, Marty. You see, I, I, they're doing the wrong things, or, or they're thinking the wrong things, and I try to straighten them out, and that bothers them. Wouldn't bother me. <laughs> oh, 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 geez, in your case, it'd be much worse in there because you're Jewish. Yeah. Not that you don't go reach for the Golden Gloves in general. <laughs> I'm only trying to say that, that you'd go nuts with me. Because you could never learn nothing from me. I mean, uh, if I try to straighten you out on, on any of the major problems of, of life, we are so different, you probably wouldn't know what I was talking about. And I know that I wouldn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but 
That's the way it's always been down through the ages, you see, as between Gentile and Jew. Uh, 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 Jew and... <laughs> I just mean, it's always been some guy like me making no sense at all to a guy like you. Sad history. Oh, very sad, but very true. And that's why, even today, everywhere, you see Jews walking away from Gentiles, and shaking their heads, looking sad, and saying, Oi, they. <laughs> that means, what the hell did I just hear? <laughs> you know that. So. So what you're saying is that uh, we don't have a chance, right? Oh, a Jew and a Gentile ain't got a Chinaman's chance. <laughs> I know. I know there's a wall between us. Now, I'm not saying that we put it there, but don't you think that between us we should try to knock it down? No, no, no. Yeah, you can't. You can't do it. I mean, it's uh, that there is. That's work for the angels. <laughs> and there ain't no more angels down here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Try to get a hold of Levy. Have him work out a deal for us. Okay? I guess there must be some way that you can, you know, buy me out. Oh, oh, geez, mommy, I, 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 I hope so. I, I hope so. Yeah. yeah. You uh, ask Levy to work on that. And, oh, oh, geez, look at this over here behind you. Will you look at this? Now, hey, there's Harry for you, huh? There's the guy that you hire back for me, see? This is his job. Take all these empties down the alley and put them way out there by the street, you know? Hey, there's nothing. He leaves me to do the whole thing. <laughs> well, come on, I'll give you a hand. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, no, no. You don't touch that. Hey, you ain't a partner. This here is my wick. Why don't you call Levy right now on the phone there, Murray, huh? You can call him right from there. Do that. Girl, this is a saloon. No minors allowed. Not a minor. I'm Archie Bunker's niece. Oh. <laughs> Just stepped outside. I'll be right back. Just tell them I got the skates. And see the bottom. Okay, I'll tell them. Tell them they were eighty dollars. Eighty dollars for road skates? It's okay. We charged them. Bye. Hey, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> now, I'm gonna ask you something. Uh, that. Why are you wearing the Star of David? I'm Jewish. <laughs> you were his niece. It's a long story. But you know what he had to do? Join the temple so I could go to Sunday school. <laughs> He's still steaming about that. Because they come from more than roller skates. <laughs> Did he buy you that? Sure. I've got one, too. There it is. I bet he didn't buy you yours. No, I got that from my grandmother a long time ago. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. I gotta go. Tell Uncle Archer I couldn't wait. Okay, listen. Hey, come here. Go back. <laughs> What's your name? Stephanie. What's yours? Murray. I'm uh, Archie's new partner. Uh-oh. <laughs> I can give you some good advice. I'm ready. Don't ever show him your star. <laughs> Bye. Jeez, my back is broke carrying that box. Did you call up Levy? Yeah. Oh, geez, he put you on hold? Oh, no, we had a nice talk. Yeah? Well, what'd he say? Well, he said he'd be able to work something out, you know, take a little while to draw up a note for the time, terms, you know, things like that. Oh, yeah. But uh, the sooner the better, huh? Sooner the better. Yeah. 
Well, I gotta heft out the other box here. Huh? Well, look, let me give you a hand as long as I'm not busy. Take your leave you a little time to fix up some papers there. Might as well make myself useful. Oh, what do you mean by that? Well, I'm a partner until I'm not a partner. Oh, hold, 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 hold. Just a minute. Uh, you're a partner? No, 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 no. Let, let's just put it this way, huh? Until you ain't a partner. You're only a partner. <laughs> well, in that case, you can help me out. There you go. This is the best of money, because... You and me, we couldn't be friends in a million years, you know? Oh, two million. Oh, a billion. Well, split the difference. Oh, well, we split the difference in. Two and a half million, huh? <laughs> Easy, Murray, don't drive me into the wall, huh? Watch out for the cat. Oh, what cat? <laughs> oh!